want to go. Lexus didn't become the best-selling luxury brand in America by lounging in heated and cooled leather seats. They've been busy pumping out product. Today, I'm profiling two cars, the ES350 and the GS450H. Yes, H stands for hybrid. Yes, the world's first rear-wheel drive hybrid. And while it can creep silently on electric power like a Prius, the main goal of the 450H is to wrinkle blacktop. With 0 to 60 times near 5 seconds, it's faster than the V8-powered GS430. With two torque-rich electric motor generators to assist the 292-horsepower V6, the GSH is essentially hybrid-charged. It's still going to be a gas savings. There's a, a better economy with this as comparable V8s. But this one is more of a performance vehicle. If they match it all the way to the floor, they're going to get a good experience. Good news, at 55 grand, the price premium is only $1,100 over the V8 model. Bad news, batteries crowd the trunk. It's good for two golf bags. Like all GSs, rear seating is modest. Also, I prefer trunk and mirror controls at hand, not in a drawer. Badging is subtle, a mesmerizing power routing display is the biggest giveaway that this is a hybrid. Lexus says the H will save 200 gallons of premium a year compared to the 8-cylinder. More mean than green, the 450H is a real charge to drive. The ES350 is not a hybrid, but starting at around 34 large, it's much more affordable. We affectionately refer to it as the Baby LS. This is to give our customers an entry package that's very luxurious, very smooth, very quiet, approaching that of the LS. Like many next-generation models, the new ES grows in luxury and V6 power. The new 3.5-liter pumps out 272 horsepower, connected to a six-speed tranny that uses 20% fewer parts than the five-speed it replaces. The ES350 runs from 0 to 60 in just under seven seconds. Lexus claims this car is better in almost every way than the original 1990 LS flagship. The cabin is quiet, comfortable, and tasteful. Three will be fine in the back. The trunk is roomy, but the seatbacks don't fold to expand cargo. This car is loaded to the gills with a $9,600 ultra-luxury package that has nearly every gadget imaginable, including radar cruise control and a great panoramic roof. The backup camera is good for bicycles, tricycles, and reporters who like to take naps in people's driveway. Among the other safety features are airbags for knees up front. Speed racers loyal to Lexus will prefer the rear drive IS, evolutionary, not revolutionary, the front drive ES350 is a smooth sailor geared for comfort. I only spent a few hours in each of these cars, so I'll estimate combined real-world fuel economy to be around 23 or 24 miles to the gallon for both of these vehicles. For a more complete review of these two cars, go to the website, www.nwcn.com slash autos. And you can even email me there with questions. That's Drive. I'm Tom Volk.